there are multiple ways to discover the city of Paris. Of course, you have the double-decker hop-on, hop-off bus, but Paris has the bateau bus hop-on, hop-off. It starts at 10 a.m., goes until 7 p.m., nine hours, it has nine stops, and today, Colleen and I are going to try to do the entire city of Paris during those nine hours and hop off at every stop, see a little bit of the land, and get back on. And we're gonna start right here at Hotel de Ville, and we're going to end up in the Latin Quarter where there are people dancing on the side of the Seine that we saw last time we were in a dinner cruise, and Colleen has been asking me to take her there ever since. So we're going to stop there and hopefully there are people dancing and we're going to get to see and enjoy that. Allez, on y va. Tickets for the Battle Bus are 20 euros each. The easiest way to buy them is online, and you can buy them in advance or buy them right on the spot. The instructions are in English and easy to follow, and we put a link to their website in the video description below. I have our tickets on my phone. Bonjour. Merci. Merci. And I know that I want to come back and sit on that little end of the island. Yeah, that looks a great place for a picnic, right? So we just got to the stop at the Louvre, but the boat captain told us that they're only operating four of the eight boats today because it's August in Paris and there's less traffic. So the boats are operating every 25 minutes instead of every 10 minutes, so we're gonna have to move pretty quick. We're here at the Louvre, we're gonna go right by the pyramid, we're gonna go see the Palais Royal, grab a bite to eat, and hopefully we have enough time. Let's go. Pro tip, if you're visiting the Louvre and you just want to get shots outside by the pyramid, go on a Tuesday morning when it's closed because you won't have all the crowds. We're here right by the Louvre at Bow and Me because there's not a lot of places that aren't touristic around the next few stops. And we wanna make sure we have a good solid lunch. So we got some stuff to go and let's see if we have time to eat it in the Tuileries garden. And right here along Rue Rivoli, just across from the Louvre, you have lots of little shops, touristic things, little souvenir stuff and some nicer stores. That thing is fun to go to the top of, and you want to talk about a view of Paris? Holy moly, it's gorgeous. Now, we thought about having lunch at the Palais Royal, and we thought about having lunch at the Tuileries Garden. But for the sake of time, I think we're just gonna go down in the shady spot where we wait for the boat and have our lunch there along the River Seine. The Tuileries Gardens is a great spot. Like, tons of little vignettes and places to sit, even cafes and places to buy food if you want a restaurant. It's a gorgeous spot. I love this one. She's so relaxed. Yeah. I got, got a ham and cheese with lettuce. Right. On a baguette. Okay, so that's what we're eating now? Let's split that one. We got two sandwiches. Yeah. We can split one now and split one later. One of the things that we noticed with the bateau bus stops 
is that a lot of them don't have a lot of food around them. Like Zinville, there's not a lot of things there. So since we know that next to the Louvre is a bunch of amazing things, including Bo and me, this is where we got a sandwich. And of course, you're gonna scan your tickets every time you get on. We thought it would be a great idea to take this boat on a beautiful sunny day, because hey, in Florida, you take the boat on beautiful sunny days. But let me tell you, it's noon and it is hot. I love this bridge. I love it. It's 12.15. We just landed at the Alexander III Bridge, right by the Petit Palais, Grand Palais, and we want to go see the tulip sculpture and, of course, the gorgeous view of the Eiffel Tower from the bridge. So let's see if we can fit it all in. Come on. All right, so it's one o'clock and we just got here to the Eiffel Tower and we're actually doing good on time, uh, but we're gonna spend about an hour uh, checking out the Torcadero and the Eiffel Tower. Oh, and right by the Bateau Bus, there's a giant sign here for the uh, Olympics and it is in 372 days, seven hours and seven seconds. The Olympics are going to be right here. That's kind of fun to have the clock there. And if you pick up something for a picnic lunch and you hold on to it for a bit, there's a great little park right across the bridge from the Eiffel Tower with lots of shade. You can relax and enjoy something there. People want to go see the Eiffel Tower, so they go to the Eiffel Tower. But honestly, the best views, the most open space, and just loveliness is right across the bridge at the Trocadero. If you're coming to see the Eiffel Tower, you gotta come over here to see it. This is all honey stuff. That is an Eiffel Tower candle made out of beeswax. And the whole package. And it smells delicious. Well, that's very cool. They're already lining up.
So it's 2.30 and we just got off the boat at the Invalid Stop. And the Invalid Stop is where the Invalids is, which is the military museum. It's where Napoleon's tomb is. And we're back again, right across from the Petit Palais, Grand Palais, on the Bridge Alexander Trois. Since we're tight on time, we're not gonna go into any museums. We're gonna go upstairs at the bridge. We're gonna take some pictures, see what there is to see. And we're gonna come back and get on the next boat. not willing to stop. Let's go. So it's 310 and we just stopped at the Museum d'Orsay exit. And of course, what's here is the Museum d'Orsay. This is a gateway to Saint-Germain, which has lots of little shops and galleries and really cool spots. But we're not gonna spend a lot of time here because I'm exhausted. I'm overheated, my feet hurt, and I'm really looking forward to our next exit where we're gonna go to one of my favorite squares and sit in a cafe and relax. Come on. So we did six out of nine, we were completely exhausted. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so it's 3.30 and we just made it to Saint-Germain. So here you have a ton of restaurants and shops and a lot of things to do. But we're going to one of Colleen's favorite little secret square here. There's a little cafe that she adores. We're gonna go and sit and relax for about an hour to kind of recoup because we're like pooped and hot and it's been a long day. So we're gonna go and take a break. Allez, on y va. This isn't a single-use plastic anymore. So we're sitting in a little cafe inside of Place Dauphine, which is a delightful, quiet, shady spot. And, and I'm wearing my glasses because I look as tired as I feel. But this place is perfect to stop if you want to have a lunch or something like that. But we just stopped by to have a refreshing drink, relax in the shade. After I have some water, I may or may not have a mojito or something, but we're just gonna sit right here in this park. And you know, they play petanque here. It's lots of locals, um, but this is really a, a, an old classic square. It's just that kind of a place and I love it. So it's time to go catch the next boat. Let's go. So it's 5.30 p.m. Uh, this is the eighth out of ninth spot, Notre Dame de Paris. We're gonna go in front of the cathedral and we're gonna go and check it out. Allez, on y va. It's not entirely mobile friendly here. And this is La Croix where they have the Notre Dame apple desserts that I love. Great spot. And of course, all the bouquinists over here with Notre Dame in the background. Actually, you know what, it's a great uh, thing, the bouquinis for souvenirs. Because yeah. one of the things that uh, people don't realize is the bouquinis are all independent small business owners. So uh, this is not going into some, you know, mega souvenir shop. And they're selling all unique type of paintings and drawings and... Even great refrigerator magnets. Yeah. 
This is the statue of Charlemagne. So one of the things we got at Bo and me earlier was a dessert. And we were not ready to eat it because it was so hot. And we have a uh, partly melted uh, brownies with uh, hazelnut. And we've got this bad boy here. This is Colin's favorite. Oh yeah, it's like crispy and breaking apart. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can hear the crispy crunchies. And their sugar is really caramelized. Hazelnut brownie. Rue de la Hachette, it's very touristic. It is a fun place, little shops, restaurants and things, but it's a great street to walk down and they have an Amarino here where my kids have loved to come and get the rose-shaped ice creams. Definitely a street to know about. It's just fun. Connects by Shakespeare and Notre Dame all the way to Place Saint-Michel. Perfect spot. Right up here is the Shakespeare and Company. The authors read their books there. There's actually a place where you can spend the night in there. And it's just a funky spot that people love. And another one of my little favorites is the iconic Instagrammable Hotel Odette. So we're leaving the Notre Dame spot, headed for our last stop at Jardin des Plantes where Antoine's supposed to take me dancing. You can see that my makeup melted off. I'm dead tired. I look as old as I feel, and we're gonna go and dance anyway. So this is the ninth and final stop of the bateau bus. We're right here by Jardin du Plant, but this is also the promenade that has the dancing and the plein art sculptures or the open air sculptures along the walkway with one of the ones that I've definitely wanted to see. This is a sculpture of Rimbaud. And I didn't see people dancing when we were coming up in the boat that maybe they'll start just after. And if we relax and take a nice leisurely stroll, they might start dancing while we're still here. And if not, we'll just grab a bite to eat. Allez, on y va. We've discovered a lot of new little spots on this tour today. We did. Places to come back to. I hear music. So we just completed all nine stops on the bateau bus. We did get to see an awful lot. So if what you have is one day to see as much of Paris as possible, this is a good option. A little bit different than a regular cruise on the Seine because the cruises like Vedette have guided tours and tell you what you're seeing all along. This is really just kind of a water taxi that takes you along. But if you know what you're looking for, this is a really great option. It'll get you from point A to B to C to D and all the way up through nine stops. It's a significantly less expensive. Yeah, cost. 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks for the ride. Yeah. It's uh, significantly less expensive than the hop on hop off buses. About the same price as the tour, but you get to stop and get off and on where you want. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I just thought it was great. Yeah, you gotta bring some sunscreen. We didn't bring any, <laughs> we regretted it. It was a sunny day and uh, <laughs> We got surprised, but other than that, it was amazing. It was, I'll do it again. It was amazing. And you don't have to get off at every stop the way we did. We pushed it. I'm not a marathon traveler. I like a little bit more relaxed comfort, but you know, depending on what you have going on, this is something to check out. How about we go get a drink now and uh, maybe dinner? <sighs> I would love a glass of wine and a charcuterie board. Allez, on y va. Let's go. If you like this kind of itinerary video, I would watch this one, which is a three-day itinerary that Colleen and I did together. This video is awesome. <laughs>